that I'd rather just forget But it keeps on reminding me that we are in for it Surrounded by machines and some I like an awful lot But if too close I feel how much there's something I am not Of course, we're gonna mute tracks, we're gonna solo tracks We're gonna dig deep and see what's inside this song, Technophobe and this is a song that's been through the ringer. It's had multiple versions and multiple recordings and multiple mixes. We won't get too deep into the minutia of the music theory or the meaning behind the song. I think the main theme for this one is just the struggle to get so many different tracks to work together because it's an incredibly dense recording. It's got walls of drums, guitars, keyboards, sound effects. Enough going on that it's crashed our computer multiple times, which is fitting. So here we go. Any good stress-inducing rock song should start with a nice air raid siren mixed in with a synth. And in comes the drums. We have our first drum set that's playing a pretty basic beat, and there's a little spaced out guitar in there just to give you reference. All the drums together sound like this. Buried in there is a separate drum set that's just playing toms. All the drums. And we added some electric percussion with a bunch of delays and effects on there just to add to the chaos. Now here's the acoustic guitar and bass by themselves. Keep the bass in there, but here is a piano with a bunch of reverb and some other keyboards. Here's some examples of some guitars that don't really sound great on their own. We boosted some of the frequencies just to make them stand out in the mix, and we've panned them hard left and right, and we had them kind of cutting in and out just to fit in and not take up too much space. So here's the full mix of the verse. But it keeps on reminding me that we are in for it. Surrounded by machines and some I like an awful lot. But if too close I feel how much there's something I am not. A force of death is crammed into those tiny microchips. Unheard of bits of jargon are spewing out logic. But in my simple little world I'm sitting by the fire. Watching from a distance, society's alive. And here we are in the pre-chorus. So for this, we've stripped away the main vocals so you can hear the background vocals, which Chris did a great job with. Wait, 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 hold it. I had to go back and see how that effect was made, and it, it turns out it's from a stock voice filter in Logic. And just moving the pitch shifting and the timing around to make those different sounds. It was a very similar effect happening in the second pre-chorus. And one more time on the final pre-chorus. I love it because it's like this beautiful chorus that's being horribly digitized and sucked into a computer. And for this part, the marimba comes in to join the guitars. And for this part, we took the original vocal simple. Something simple and made a sort of a, a call and response, where the response is sort of roboticized. I long for something simple. The same thing happens later on in the song. Simple. Mechanical. And now right into the, the chorus. And here we have everything except the drums. Chris has some nice harmonies here. You wish for something that could never be. Complex 
Something that could never be. And finally, it's the outro. Just wanted to point out a few things that happen in this instrumental part following the last chorus. We have this simple guitar going through an attack delay pedal, which sort of softens each note. And this starts harmonizing with another guitar that has a bunch of reverb and, and delay on it here. And the first guitars are replaced by these more gritty guitars. And the second guitars are played with a tremolo pedal to change the effect a little bit. And a synthesized version of the Turkish lute, or baglama, takes over the melody here. And I always think it's fun to throw in an early demo to hear how it's evolved. crammed into those tiny microchips. Unheard of bits of jargon are spewing out logic. But in my simple little world, I'm sitting by the fire. Watching from a distance, society's a liar. The final mix. So while this was a hard one to mix with the density of it, all the different tracks with the drums and the arpeggiating synthesizers and all the guitars kind of jumping in and out and a bunch of other stuff that we couldn't even get to, all these things are kind of working together to keep you disoriented. So if you have a chance, give it another listen with those things in mind and see if you can hear some of that stuff we pointed out. Thank you. Thanks for everyone who supports us. If you'd like to support us, head over to cleavermusic.com. You can buy our recordings or our merchandise. We do have this limited time technophobe shirt if you're interested. Or it just helps us if you tell your friends about us, anyone you think might be interested in what we do. Thanks again.